Pisces, happy full moon, honey. I hope you're having a beautiful, blessed day today. Uh, we are talking about the full moon in Aries, which is happening in your second house of money, please, access to resources, values, and, and you know, when this is the money and possessions access. So if this is, you know, when you move, what you put in the box that's yours, where the sun is over here in the eighth house is like the house that you move into, shared possessions, death and rebirth, deep transformation. And for some reason, you know, this, I feel like the vibe, I, it, it was a really cute vibe where it's as if like you're, you're for some reason, like, yeah, it's like status quo. You're like, oh, no, I'm fine. Like, I'm fine in this, in this tumultuous, crazy air versus fire energy. You're just like, no, I'm good. I'm good. It's like, I don't think this is your opportunity to show your strength within the waters, within the, you know, the mutable water energy that you are Pisces. And this grid is for Pisces rising, but all of my readings can always be watched by a Pisces sun or a Pisces moon to receive the vibrations of it. But like, <laughs> it's almost like people don't understand that like you have like, and this is my phrase, it came from a, a movie a while ago. I, I, Smokers. It was like a movie about smokers or something like that. Or the smoking industry it was back in the 90s or the 2000s. But basically, it's like you, you, people don't know that you have the tolerance of an Irish dock worker, basically. And they don't know that you can drink and smoke them under the table. They don't know that you turn into a pool shark. They don't know your fucking, like, sassy side. That you function. I always, you know, make the joke that the Pisces, capital P, is like the baby ancient, where you function half in this world and half in the other. But, like, for the you know, the way that people pay money for hallucinogens and all these like drugs, you're just like, that's how I see the world normally. Like, I'm good, I'm good. Like, yeah, for some reason, that was just the vibe that I got for you Pisces during this time. Cause literally like, I, I'm not working my restaurant job. I'm, you know, only doing one-on-ones. I'm just, I'm doing like, like a moonrise swim. Like there's, there's very little that I'm going to be doing as a divine feminine, you know, metaphysician healer out in the world. And I just like see who is John Travolta sauntering down Main Street being like, this is, I, like, I've got this. Like every Pisces right now is like, I've got this all as well. Like, yeah. There's like, you are like, it's, it's so, you know, there's a lot of beautiful Pisces men that I know in my life. And I work with a whole bunch of them, like the, the best service beings in the entire world. And all of them just have this like light glacial blue, kind of like the color of my jumper right now. And this just like, yeah, we're good. Everything's fine. Please go talk to Aquarius and just remind them that everything's okay. Please talk to Aquarius because there's some of them that are going to be checking out. Actually, yeah, go talk to Aquarius. Um, Libra needs a hug. This is weird. It's almost like I want you to go help Sag out of their sticky situation. That's fascinating. But um, but yeah, you're vibing. There's very like if anything, we're gonna be focusing on releasing lack mentality of any capacity. Like anything that makes you feel small, anything that makes you feel diminished. Like look at what I'm telling you. That if you're here with me, you're listening to my teachings and healings and readings and I'm telling you that I am in awe with your natural capabilities I know that there's nothing that I can say to you that will make you be like yes thank you I am that you're blushing I can see you blushing you're like stop it stop it no it's not me I just I mean grandma died when I was born and it's just it's fine I'm just so, like naturally it's okay it's like it's it's fine. You know, my father was a raging alcoholic. Like I'm so okay. Like it's like I'm just used to that because that's how I grew up and stuff. It's like no, these are natural inherent capabilities that you have, Pisces, that are on purpose. That are on purpose. Yeah, you and Cancer, my God. So beautifully emotional. I want you bigger. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, I'd say, if anything, to really release if we want to just utilize this magic. Because right now, honest to goodness, like, 
you could help anybody in your life right now just by sending them a line and saying, I love you, I'm here for you. If you do not have a full bucket to give from, obviously don't do that. But this is the one moment in time, Pisces, you've been in it. You've Saturn and Neptune retrograde in your sign. It's been absolute fucking guttural for you. There, it's it's so. I just I'm so impressed and I'm in awe that this is the reading that you get. Like I'm so. I had no idea that this is what was going to come out. I had absolutely no idea, and I love that. Yeah, I just got like this like cheeky grin. I just wrote down status quo, and I was like, they're fine. Pisces, I don't have to worry about you this full moon. We're going into eclipse season, so we're going to have um, the new moon eclipse is going to be in your eighth house of shared possessions, and then your full moon eclipse is going to be in your third house of communication. So it's like, I, I still have to record my October introductory video, but it's titled Buckle Up, and it's it's not meant to be a joke anymore. It's, you know, like cheeky to just be like, yeah, we're in it. Like we're fucking vibing, but like nothing's slowing down. This isn't like, oh, we're in a bumpy time. And then later on, everything's going to be great. It's like, no, later on, we'll be in a fifth dimensional unity consciousness and we'll be instantly manifesting. We'll have our own problems over there. We don't need to worry about those problems right now because we won't have the same like, where's money coming from? And how am I going to get from A to B? And this is happening and I'm S-I-C-K. All that shit that we have to worry about in the density now, we will not have to worry about in our physical lifetimes. So just, yeah, vibe. Dance naked under the full moon and let like and just be big and gregarious like you know the north node is going to be blessing you with a lot of finances the south node is removing bad um shared possessions bad uh what's the word i'm looking for contracts that you're not really meant to have and it's just it's really interesting to me all of these like because it's almost like we're We've accepted the physical challenge and now we have to navigate and be like, oh, this offering is really not for me. So I'm going to say no to this. And I know that the thing that comes next is the best thing. So it's like we're on the, the we're in the Sims game of life and we're figuring it out. But you're, you're just really naturally, the word that I want to use is not coming to be. You've been navigating these dense type of energies your entire existence without even knowing it. So right now, the leveling up of the energy for the rest of us, we're still integrating all of these different worlds and we're just like, what the fuck is going on? And you've been this vibe. And I'm just really grateful to know you. I'm just exceptionally grateful to know you. I'm exceptionally grateful that you're here. I'm exceptionally grateful for all the Pisces that I know in my life. They're like very, very compassionate, blessed beings. Yeah, one of the the Pisces gentlemen that I work with, he's one of the only ones that whenever I go to the to I go to my bubble as a as a dear new acquaintance and coworker called it. I you know, I'm aware and I take seriously the way that I make people feel. So when I'm vibing at work and I'm in my restaurant job and I'm just like, yeah, this is great, everything's fine. And then something happens and my human avatar gets triggered. And then I kind of get like a, yeah. Oh, no, no, seriously, when you fuck with my money, I'll take a finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you fuck with my money, I'll take a finger. Um, so sometimes I just take myself off the floor and I'm like, don't burn the building down. Just have a little cry. Make yourself feel better. You're okie dokie. And then I'll go back out into the, into the restaurant and then somebody will say, these two motherfucking words that will just throw me off. What's wrong? Don't fucking ask me what's wrong. I'm functioning in multidimensional universes over here. And I'm picking up on the fact that you're doing this. And then my face gets diminished because I'm just like, I know that they can see that I'm in my little bubble and I don't know what to do. And I just go to my resting bitch face and I'm just like, okay, the only gregariousness I have is for my tables and I just know that everything's flowing over there. And all I have to do is get home and I get to my shower and everything's fine and everything's great and everything's beautiful and wonderful. That's not the way we want it. My dear Pisces coworker, Every once in a while, we'll be like, I'll be at one computer, I'll be at the other. I'll be like, you good? And I'll just be like, Every once in a while, I'll say that. Normally, you got this. Keep it up. You got this. You're smashing it. You're doing great. Amazing carry. Beautiful. Right behind you. Do you need anything? You're good. You're good. You're good. 
yeah they sense it they sense it the pisces they get it they sense it you guys are just so it's good it's good it's good so i just say stay keep stay the course status quo right now and if you really want to do some woo dance naked under the full moon and just like yeah release lack release unworthiness Release the feeling that you're different and that you're not meant to be. Like, that's impressive, dude. Just you existing normally is impressive to a lot of people. So, yeah. I think I'm really proud of you. You've been doing some inner work, Pisces. This is like the first reading all year. All year. Like, since Saturn went into your sign in March that I haven't been like, let's talk quietly. Do we need to cry? Do we need, like this is, please give yourself some, oh, I don't, I'm sorry. Some butterfly kisses and just know I'm, I really am so grateful for you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for being here, Pisces. It's a fucking honor to know you. The shit ain't easy. And you're dancing in the rain. Ciao.